Today is May 31st, 2016. Um, recently just got back from Darwin. Weather was pretty hot compared to where I live now. I'm in Melbourne and when I landed in Melbourne, as soon as I got back it was like 6 degrees and I was wearing shorts because I just came from Darwin. It was the worst. I'm still in pain. My stomach cannot handle the cold weather. So I'm just trying to get through that and hopefully my body will readjust to the weather. It was great. By the way, check out the other video if you want to see what happened and um, how happy my mum was that the surprise went through. She was very happy. I'm so glad to be a part of that. I haven't added any kind of time vault videos because there's been a lot of issues since I got back. I've been having a few issues with where I'm staying at the moment with my housemate. I mean, look at this cramped space. After a year and a half of living here with someone else in a no bedroom apartment pretty much, you will go insane. So that's what's happened to me. Uh, I'm sure that's happened to him as well. So I'm really desperately just looking um, as best I can to like move out. It's going to be hard because see the loan that I took out, most of that went towards, you know, buying a laptop, helping out my mum, paying for some other rent and things like that. So. I've only got a bit of that loan left, not as much as I hoped I wish I had, I wish I had more of that loan left, um, so I'm pretty disappointed there, but in terms of, I guess, saving and working, um, I'm working towards doing that, hopefully getting a promotion at work, maybe even a pay rise, I don't know, just a few things there uh, to see how I go, hopefully that all plays out in the end, especially with the like, end of financial year coming up getting tax back and, and, and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm really hoping that right now, as, as struggle street as it is right now for finance, I'm hoping that it picks up eventually. Um, because, yeah, I just I just can't stay in this place anymore. My head is, is doing my head in, um, and I just need to move out. I need to, I need to find a, a better place. So I'm going to be inspecting a few places today. Um, and I'll probably like capture some of that footage, maybe not, I don't know, see how I go. Even recording on this phone is driving me mad. I mean, I want to start using my phone as an actual phone, and it's great. It does shoot awesome quality video, but yeah, I need to start getting back into the high quality rants and stuff like that. So there'll be a lot of stuff on my new, on my main channel when I move out, I promise that. Um, but yeah, I just I just want to keep all of that like personal stuff on this channel because, you know, I've gotten a lot of I guess feedback, in indirect feedback. It was more so like constructive criticism, but it was like indirectly where, you know, people like even I hate it. I hate it when people are like, oh yeah, I'll make videos again, like or I haven't made videos in a while, like I'm back, guys. And I've done that so many times. Like I know I've done that so many times. That's why I made this channel because it's always going to happen, like I'm always going to end up saying something like that and I've come to the terms of basically creating another channel so that other people can hang out on this channel um, if they don't, if that, that doesn't bother them, if they don't mind and if they want to know about my personal life a bit more. But all of the upfront content, like I'm not even going to like put up anything, I'm just going to upload a video, that will be on my main channel. and. The, the difference between the two is that because I want one channel, like, it is a time vault channel. This is just the channel where I just add shit that's been happening throughout my life. So, this will hopefully get me back on track um, and hopefully give me memories to look forward to. I'm starting to see a difference between some of the time vaults. I mean, this time vault versus the other time vault where it's fully edited and everything's done, whereas this one's just direct to camera, no cuts. I think there's going to be two different time vaults. So... It's still going to be on this channel, but it's going to be divided. So you'll be able to tell, you know, through, I guess, the thumbnail or whatever, whether it's going to be just a direct-to-camera speech or if it's going to be a full edited thing. And I'm still trying to figure out my editing style as well. Like, I mean, I have been off the game for such a long time. I have not edited or made any videos that have been fully edited. So I've been picking inspirations from different YouTubers, trying to incorporate some of their methods into my editing, and I'm seeing how it works for now. If it doesn't work, I'm going to cut it out, and I'm going to try a different method until I find something that I'm known for in editing. 
um, mainly vlogs on this channel once again and hopefully I can continue to update whoever's watching this um, how my progress is with moving house uh, dealing with you know difficult housemates I might even make a video on my main channel about that and just all around getting my life back together because lately this past year and a half my life has been falling apart so let's see how we go to the future Reese you're in a tough time right now hang in there hopefully I've made it better with what I do now peace